The Workflow Builder is in Manager Tools. When we first look at the page, it's important to understand that for each category of contacts that we have, the Workflow Builder content is broken down by acquisition, maintenance, and termination. Additionally, there is a category for legal and corporate, and when we click on these for the first time, we need to create subcategories. So to do that, we're going to click Add on that same line and type in an input, then just type a description of the folder, and then click Save. The left pane inside the workflow interface is used to create or edit the name of a workflow, delete or clone a workflow and all its tasks within. The middle pane is used to create and design new tasks within any selected workflow. You can also clone, delete or edit tasks here. The right pane is used to modify the sequence. You must create workflows that follow one path, but each task can spawn new workflows on the same contact. So for example, looking at annual review, Notice that after Sit on Annual Review, there are about 12 or so possible options to select. If we examine each of these, we can see that each one is set to attach a workflow, and that specific workflow is displayed. This way, when we select in real time after the Annual Review meeting, uh, let's say for example we select Existing Client AUM Workflow, and this contact is going to get that workflow attached to it right away automatically. When you want to rearrange a workflow, you must drag an action into another action to make it a child of that action. And then to undo those changes, just drag the child action slightly above or slightly below where it was. Taking a deeper look at each task within a workflow, there are data fields for you to input a description, an explanation of what needs to be done, default days till due, default assignment and attachment, automatically prompt calendar entry, and the option to auto update lead status. When you select the attached dropdown, you can choose workflow, call script, email template, or call without script. Workflow allows the task to auto spawn a new workflow when you complete it. Call script allows the task to have a specific call script attached so that when the user hits open script from the details of the task, the script will pop up. Email template attaches a specific template so that the user can just click email from pending tasks and be done with that task. Call dispositions can only be made on tasks that have a call script or a call without script attached.